Now, how does it work? Um, that might be a question for the people who are how-to people. You've got to know how something works before you can do it. Um, we'll go over this. You don't, you don't need to know how for it to help you. You just need to do it. But let's talk a bit about how it works. The main way um, I like to think of it is what we call disease in our culture is primarily a manifestation and a weak link, if you will, of acidification of the body. So if your body is generally made of water, which everybody knows they're made of water, right? If it's 70% water and its pH should be kind of neutral like water, um, and you're constantly putting stuff into it that fills your body with acid, what's that going to do to your body long term? What's that going to do to the cartilage in your knee long term? What's that going to do to your spine long term? What's that going to do to your teeth long term, your eyes, your blood vessels? You know, it's, it's all of these type of things we call um, heart disease, um, blood, blood pressure problems, um, blood sugar problems, plaquing of the arteries, cancer, they all have a root in acidity in the body. So when you juice, you're actually going to change that. You're going to take from an acid type of a pH, and you're going to get closer to a water or even a, a slightly basic pH. And that's really will help prevent anything that you would call disease. All right? Now, one of the things anybody who's been to these classes over the past couple of years has, has learned about repetitively from Dr. Mills, which is great, is that there are two main reasons we get sick, that we have health problems. Um, one is that we get too much of something. We, we have toxicity in the body, right? We have too much sugar, we have too much whatever, and, and it's damaging to your body. The other reason is you don't have enough of something in the body. There are things your body needs to be healthy, whether that's a vitamin or a mineral or whatever. Let's just say fruits and vegetables. If you don't have enough of those there, that's going to lead to health problems in the body. So when you juice, you are supplying nutrients to the body. You're correcting that deficiency of it, all right? But then you're also, like I said with the scrubbers, you're actually detoxifying the body in there. So you're going to help expel toxins. Um, plus, if you're putting that into your body versus something else, you're going to limit the new toxins going in there too. So it, it does address both of those mechanisms there. Um, that last point there, uh, if you think of the body as a system of tubes, right? You're, if you think of what, what is your digestive system, I mean, that's where you put the fruits and vegetables, right? It goes in here. And there's this long convoluted tube that goes down and winds around and folds over itself and comes out. Um, your blood vessels, they're tubes, right? You have things flowing through them. You have lymph channels where the, where the immune system circulates those cells and they're coming into contact with stuff. Um, so you have, your body is full of all these channels for fluids to flow through. Um, and just like a drain pipe is getting calcified or you're getting built up in there and it's clogging the flow up there, when you acidify those vessels, it's basically like getting that placking in, internal to the, to the pipe. Stuff's not flowing through there. Um, so one of the ways that juicing will help, um, and I'll kind of talk a little bit about the why of that, is it's going to help literally, especially in your digestive system, break up things that are accumulated internal to those pipes, help expel them, and, and free that flow of food and water and nutrients through the body. So um, it is helpful in that way as well.